How's it going, everybody? My name is Softline, and today we are here with Fable 2. And so our story begins. I fucking love this game, man. This game is awesome. Um, I am, I have been... Of our tale? Then let his destiny unfold. There we go. Um, I have played this game before, like I said. Um, this is going to be a 30-minute video, so I have a timer here, and I'm going to start it. Um, this game is really, really cool. Really, really cool. It takes place in, I think it, Britain? I think it takes place in Britain, um, like, uh, medieval times. So, some, before the Industrial Revolution, for sure. Just like, uh, right before the Industrial Revolution started. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, yuck. You got shat on. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. <laughs> Although I think I prefer the clover. Oh, look, little sparrow. Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. Imagine the grand dining hall. I bet Lord Luthien's having roast duck this time of year. But he must be really lonely since his wife and his little girl died. In that big castle, all by himself. Oh, if only we could live there. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not going to be saying much of anything. What is going on over there? Come with me, little brother. Uh, okay. Uh... On the cutscenes, I'm not going to be saying much of anything. Hello there, young Rose. The shit out of this bird, though. Hungry. Have you reconsidered my offer? We'll never be that hungry. The answer is no. You'll be back, and I'll be waiting for you. Come on, little sparrow. Let's see what's going on. Fuck you, bitch. Damn it. I keep... Um... Going back to, uh... Saints Row for oh, running. It's just a trader. I can't see anything past this lot. A ladies and a gentleman. I have traveled the land, accumulating wondrous and mysterious objects, which I now offer to you for the modest price of five gold. Consider this. This is truly a magical mirror. For as long as you look into it, it will make you beautiful. I'll take it. Very wise. Now, just remember, the magic only works if you look at it in complete darkness. That's bullshit. Ah, now this is truly a marvel. This small, unassuming box is actually a device created by the ancients, as used by the old kingdom rulers themselves. <laughs> Turn the handle three times, and you shall be granted a single wish. There's no such thing as magic. We live in grim times indeed. 
if the young are too world-weary to believe in magic. Most children your age believe eagerly. Look, I can see your eyes are bad, but I'm telling you, that music box is rubbish. That's what the seller thinks. He has no idea what he stumbled upon. But you have an inkling, don't you? Some part of you wants to believe it's magic. We like Teresa. What? You... you really think it could be? For five gold coins, you could have your answer. For five gold coins, we can eat from you. Listen to me, Rose. At the end of that week, you and your little sparrow would be no closer to your dream, no closer to the inside of that beautiful castle. What if it is real? I bet we could get five gold pieces, and maybe this could be a way out of here after all. What is there to lose, little sparrow? Come on, there must be someone around here who'll pay us gold to. Yeah. Do something. Oh, Oi, kids. We can't go to these people yet, but. All right. Hello, Derek. Lose something? Come on, Derek. My arrest warrants blew right out of my hands. Okay, we'll get them. The warrants blew off in that direction. Okay. Astonish your friends and relatives with a lifelike instant image. Yeah, yeah, a picture. Yeah. Well, if nothing else, you always get a good laugh. Now, all you have to do is strike a pose for my little device. You'll be positively betwazzled by the results. Okay. Be what? Ah, oh, yes, I've been improving my vocabularium with a wonderful book bought from Mergo the Trader. A thesaurus. He's a bit silly, isn't he? But this could be fun. Yeah, nothing for Murgo the Trader instead, except for, like, the magic items are any good. Come on. There we go. Wondrous. This thing's going to be more popular than that box. Oh, come on. Three more. Now, I just have to wait three months for the picture to developify, and I can start That's showing it around. Okay. Oh, I can almost smell the gold. Okay. <laughs> come on. Walk away from that dog, bitch. You like that, you stupid mutt? Hey! What the hell are you doing? Having a bit of fun. What's it to you? Oh. Headbutt my sister, hey, bitch. Adele. Yeah, and now I'm gonna hit another one. Well, the fuck you're not. Ah! Oh, yeah. Stop it! Let me alone, you nutter. Yeah, I'm a nutter. Fuck off. Oh, did you see that? That, that lunatic shot me right in the head. You okay? Thanks for your help. I could have taken him though. No, you couldn't have. The puppy. The poor little puppy. Oh, poor thing. You've had a horrible time. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. What you need is someone nice to look after you. <laughs> oh, we can't keep you. We don't have enough food for ourselves. Well, I'm sorry, but we can't. Now you just rest. That's that that's gotta suck. Not having food for yourself. Come on, little sparrow. Let's go. That's gotta suck. Alright. Oh, here's Looks a, like a warrant, doesn't it? Warrant. All right, let's read this warrant. Uh, <clears throat> Ronnie rhymes with parsonist. Ronnie the arsonist wanted for 19 counts of setting fire to public proper property or an officer of the peace. So he set fire to a person. Well, we have our first warrant. Wow, he fucking set fire fire to a person. 
we gotta do is grab this. No. Damn it. We gotta go all the way over here. So you'll bring me back my bottle? Yeah, I'm gonna bring back your bottle. Let's find this magpie guy. That must be Come on. Do use with a note. Let's go collect our gold. I'll not discuss it. I'm gonna give it to the lady. Hey! Everything in this game has um, if you haven't noticed, every time I do an action, um, Give me the wine. this happens. The problem is, you're weak. Give me a break. I haven't had a drink for three whole hours. This, um, this happens. See that? That was a good, uh... There's some paper in the bottle. Yeah, I get on with it. Yours. Get on with it. All right. Okay, um, every time I do a good action, I do I get um, good morale points. This game is really very, very morale-based. You can still beat the game if you're a piece of shit, or if you're not perfect with your morale, or if you're like a, like a fucking angel about it, you can still beat the game, but you might not get all of the, um, the, the social points, you know what I mean? Like, you, uh, being good, I have figured out that being very, very good actually does you better than being, like, not so good or absolutely freaking terrible. Because people like you more, and when people like you more, they give you more discounts. Of course, when people hate you more, they give you more of a discount. But, um, when people like you more, more people give you discounts on just buying uh, like swords and armor and all that stuff. So, all right. I used to be. What's that warrant say? I want to read the warrant. Warrant for sneakiness. All right. Uh, Leroy Unremarkable Stone, known out, known aliases. Leroy Ten Fingers, Leroy Run Run Nose, Leroy Two Eyes, Leroy Has Hair, Leroy Is Alive. Wanted for suspicious, though otherwise unremarkable behavior. Yeah, why does he have such a weird ass fucking name? And why does he have weird ass lots of names? Oh, disgusting beetles. I hate them. Alright. We gotta kill the beetles or we gotta smash the stock. And I'm gonna choose killing the beetles. Kill. Killing the beetles, not his and beetles. Because he doesn't like the beetles. breaking their hateful little heads open, try not to break any of my stuff. No, I won't wreck any of your stuff. Hey, kid. No, fuck off. Balthazar. Come on. Yay. Oh, crap. Do you know what I had to do to get those beetles? I'll remember this, kid. Yeah, yeah, go blow it out your ass. That was a massacre. No mercy for the filthy buggers. That's what I like to see. Nice. And all my stock is still intact. Wow, I didn't know you were so good at fighting. Here's another warrant. I'm a sweet Damn it, I wanted to read the fucking... We've got three now. Just two more to go. Can I fucking go into the menu, please? That's three gold coins now. Just two more and we can buy the music box. Yeah. Let me go into the fucking... Oh my god. <sighs> <coughs> There's that dog again. Can you fucking? Hey, you found one for us. Good what boy. up? Oh, I know. You're sweet. Oops. But I told you before. I didn't mean to pick it up. Nikki, the nickname. 
Chalmers. Known aliases, Nikki the nickname Chalmers, no relation. Wanted for assault with a deadly weapon, assault with a potentially deadly weapon, assault with a deadly, uh, assault with a weapon we couldn't believe possibly was deadly, but unfortunately was. With probably a fucking spoon. Four, we can't keep you. Come on, little sparrow. That's all the warrants. We should go back to that guard. All right. Let me get my social points up because I accidentally. Yeah! Yeah! I accidentally pulled out my sword, which people don't like it when you pull out their swords in front of them. So. Can I be your friend? <laughs> which I don't really agree with. I think if you pull out your sword and kill Stop some there, like brats. something that's attacking people, they should love you for that. Listen, creep. Shut it, girl. This isn't about that. Those warrants you're collecting, I want them. No, fuck off. Have you found them? Yes. Thanks. All right. You're a lifesaver. Jeez, that took 15 yeah, minutes. Normally, the intro just takes 15 minutes. Reward. But as these aren't normal circumstances, there's a gold piece. Oh my god. I think Mother heard us. You again? I don't want you sniffing around my daughter. Now push off before I call the guards, you animal. Get in the house, Belinda. And clean those floors. They're as filthy as that no good delinquent Monty. All right, now we're going to talk to Monty. We could really do with warmer clothes. Yeah. What's the matter with you? All right. Oh, little ones. My situation is yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Fucking yeah. Doing. Let's see you I can't even begin to describe it. Open the damn door. What do you want? Oh, um, we, we've got a letter. We need one gold for the postage. Oh, well, why didn't you just say so? Come on in. All right. Wait there while I get the money. And don't you touch anything. Well, this is wonderful. All right, fuck off. Here's something for your trouble. Yeah, give me the give me the fucking gold. My little dove. Yeah, yeah, you guys fall in love and all that. Hello, Can't wait to see what it can do. Give me the music box, please. Hello, we've come to buy the music box. Very wise little ones. Thank you. Go ahead and turn the handle, but mind you go somewhere quiet, like. Let's go make our wish, little sparrow. Yep. Kick the chicken. 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 If you get kicking the chicken, you get um you get an achievement. And it's funny. Alright. Music box stuff. I wish. I wish. I have no idea what that was, but I'll deal with it later. But where Jesus. did we go? Why are we still here? That buzzing sound was the sound of my fucking Five controller. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. Oh, I was so sure this was it. I had this feeling like, like we weren't going to be stuck in Old Town anymore. Why didn't the box take us with it? What are you, Can you doing? Like, let me. Here? I'm sure I didn't wish for you. All right, fine. Welcome to our little paradise. And let me go to bed. 
Come on, Sparrow, go to bed. All right. Oh, all right, to settle down. There's a nice, uh, angry, stray dog. Quiet, boy. What do you want? I work for Lord Lucian, miss, and he would very much like to see you in his castle. I've been sent to collect you. It did work. Our wish came true. Yeah, not Come as not Wake like up. you think it did. It's all right, doggy. We're going to Lord Lucian's castle. I'll come back for you. I promise. Yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. I want to cram as much stuff into this episode as possible because it's the lore part of the... Let's go to the castle. It's the lore part of the episode. A lot of... Or, lore part of the game. A lot of the lore stuff, they tell you straight out of the box. So, we got nine minutes left. Evening, Jeeves. Here are the children Lord Lucian asked for. Excellent. Hello, young masters. Hello, sir. If you'd follow me, please. We look up at this castle every day and think how nice it is. We both do. Okay. But inside, it's even more beautiful than I imagined. It is quite him? wonderful. Remember him. Remember him. Ah, hello, Master Garth. We see him later on. Ha, huh. a man of few words. Not really. Where is the Grand Dining Hall? Oh, in the North Wing. Lord Lucian hasn't been in there since... since the tragic deaths of Lady Fairfax and little Amelia. Oh, I heard. That was so awful. Yes, he uh, misses them terribly. So, where does he eat? Actually, he takes most of his meals in his study. Come on. He's in there working all hours doing research. Just fucking go. And history, mostly. Lord Lucian is quite keen on antiquities of all sorts, but he's chiefly interested in things relating to the Old Kingdom. There was a trader in Old Town who said his stuff was from the Old Kingdom. Yes, yes. I believe Lord Lucian heard about that we bought a piece of it and we made a wish and now we're here well that's wonderful now when you meet lord lucian you must show respect at all times address him as my lord speak only when spoken to yes sir and do not mention lady fairfax or amelia Right. Here we are. Lord Lucian, the children are here. Let me go. I gotta stand on this now. Children, it's come to my attention that you have some sort of magic. I'm just gonna let it go now. May I see it? It vanished, my lord. We were winding it up and we made a wish and then it started to glow and it disappeared. After you used it? Yes, my lord. The man who sold it to us said it was magic. The box is of no interest to me. What's remarkable is that you were able to use it. What was your wish? Oh. <laughs> well, speak up. What did you wish for? To live in a castle like this one. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. I'm working to rebuild... Well, I'm working on something wonderful, for which I need individuals with particular talents. Let us find out if you possess them. Would you kindly stand in the circle, please? Um... I promise it won't hurt you.
What's that? Nothing to worry about. It's true. Your blood. You are heroes. Heroes? You mean like in the old stories? the fourth. What's happening? This isn't what I wanted. But nothing must stand in my way. No, wait! Don't! No! I can't allow you to live either. I'm sorry. Ooh, shit. He's still alive, too. Death is not your destiny today, Little Sparrow. Yeah. That is basically our origin story. <laughs> the intro is basically our origin story. And that specific instance right there is what keeps this character going throughout the entirety of this story. I think that's a badass fucking origin story. Get shot in the fucking chest, out a window, fall at least six, seven stories, hit a building, then hit the ground. He disappeared from Castle Fairfax that night, certain that those who might stand in his way were dead. But some grief is so great, even death may keep its distance. And so the boy survived. Days later, far from the dark alleys of Bowerstone, life slowly returned to his small, broken body. The boy awoke to a familiar face watching over a strange bed. He reached out for the comfort of the dog's warm fur, ready to take his first steps in a new life. Ten winters blanketed Albion. Ten summers filled the air with the sounds of insects and laughter. With time, the boy's pain turned to strength. His grief became will. A will to change the world, and to avenge the death that still haunted his every dream. Hell yeah. Alright, I think that's going to leave it. Uh, I think that's a good spot to leave this episode. If you liked it, leave a comment down below, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified of another one of my videos. There's a link to my Patreon and, the uh, and my Discord in the description down below. There's a $3 and a $6 option for my Patreon. Everything I make on my Patreon and eventually, hopefully, YouTube will go directly into making every single video that much better. And I will see all you guys in the next video. I really hope I can make this a series. Even if it doesn't do well, I'm still going to make this a series because I love this game. Um, and with that being said, I will see all you guys in the next video. Later.